Okay, so today I'm gonna start a new challenge. In 30 days, I will be creating a brand new business from scratch. And if you want to join my journey, please subscribe now. And I will be posting a video every day with the update and what I'm doing. And today it's the first day of the challenge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a landing page. Let's start with that. Since this is going to be a landing page, I'm going to use Next.js to create my project. I got my Next.js project up and running. I will start clearing this boilerplate code. First component that I'm going to create is going to be my header. And then I'm going to create a footer as well. Here I made them a little bit prettier. And last thing for today, I'm gonna create a hero section where I can just put the brand name and the tagline. That's it. And the next step is put this into a GitHub repo. Once I push everything into my GitHub repo, I'm going to the Versal's website where I can host this. And then I'm gonna update my DNS records with my domain name to make it available under this domain name. And once I waited for a couple of minutes, that is done as well. So my website is available with ideadream.org. So right now is 10 p.m., right? And the day started like this. with these guys and after that we went to lunch. Cheap. 
cheapest food in England. So now I would like to introduce you to Ferhat. Ferhat is one of my friends who has a uh, application called Book Tasker. You can book cleaners for your house to clean or um, commercial premises. And let's hear it from Ferhat. Uh, I'm Ferhat. I'm founder of uh, Book Tasker. It's cleaning services for houses and commercial in London. And we launched three years ago and bootstrapped until now. Okay, so you've been telling me today, this morning, about this CTO situation. Can you explain a bit more about that? Sure. When I approach in investors, most of them ask me uh, if if I have CTO or any any technical uh, senior developer, but I didn't have, mm-hmm. and they recommended to have a CTO uh, in case if there is any problem with the the, the development of technical side because I'm not technical founder and uh, this is challenging so that's why i'm looking for uh, co-founder, uh, co-founder and also cto as well yeah but i mean to be perfectly clear you already have a working product and this is not like a seed or pre-seed stage you're already generating revenue and is this going to be your first round of investment yes it's going to be first uh, especially for from uh, angel investors the product is good okay but it just needs more work every day mm-hmm. and it's just getting more complex and complex and it's, it's taking my time because i'm not technical that's why i need a cto so this one is actually very important for me as a technical person and i'm sure this is important for you as well so i'm gonna ask you as a non-technical founder so what is the biggest challenge when you're looking for a cto that you faced well, it's one of them challenges just the finding the right person for our startup and what did you do to find that right person so far well i've been talking to friends <laughs> linkedin um so social media following what people the challenges finding cto especially yeah um just been talking to people it's just networking really okay. going to events and stuff like that yeah so you're looking for your CTO in events and in social media and these are the places that you actually go to. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So, you know about the challenge that I'm doing today. It's going to be 30 days of uh, starting a startup, right? So, as a person who already has a working business and generating revenue, what's this one piece of advice that you would give me today? So, also, you need to uh, remember that I'm going to do this for 30 days only. Mm-hmm. So, I need to build this business from ground up in 30 days and you know I I have a technical background as well so I can build stuff Mm -hmm. and what is the one piece of advice that you can give me today at the beginning I mean get especially to get the feedbacks from friends and family um, how how is it looking so um, you know talk to people it's just how they want it how what is the challenges they they see Mm -hmm. and what they can't find it so it's a good advice that you gave me that uh, speak to people, friends and family. And what if they were not interested? What if it's not my target audience? Well, you need to find the people who's interest in your area. How do I do that? So, <laughs> That's a very important question. So networking, yeah. That's so networking. networking. Okay. LinkedIn, LinkedIn is so powerful. Uh, you can find many people. Every even I found many people and get feedback just from random people. Mm-hmm. Now there's many, many. It's just you don't have to go somewhere to get feedback or meet people. It's just there's LinkedIn. There's other social media platforms. Yeah. Thank you very much. No that problem. was Farad. Thank you. <laughs>